And after many months of work on it, we finally got it to the point where we can do a weight test. We're trying to figure out how much weight it will handle up the steep grades we've got, especially in the back of the railroad. So we put two heavy weights on, probably over 1,500 pounds a piece, um, over the front and the rear axles. And we're, and we're going to take it up the hill, and we're going to have you ride along, and we'll see what happens. Okay, Joe, fire it up.
ride. We're at the top of where our track ends now. Um, we've got the 1,500 pounds of weight. It does track better. It seems to hold to the rails obviously a little better. Uh, one of the things you can notice a lot is you can notice the flexing of the frame, which of course will be taken care of if we put a roof on it. We can take most of that flex out of it. But uh, we never we never throttled all the way up. We thought we'd probably have to do that to get up this this grade, which is approaching one and a half percent. So so far so good. So the next thing is we may probably try to put more weight on it um, and uh, see what happens there. But this this is a really good test, and uh, we know we're going in the right direction. So to be continued. Touchdown. So tell, tell us about the test. The test went wonderful. The test went really well. Okay. So is the clunking I heard over there as you went That's over this. That's the dip you? between the, the rails and the, and the number six frogs. It's, okay. It's normal. So, the, smaller, so, the, smaller, the smaller the wheels, the bigger the clunk you get. Okay. So, so tell us about all of the trials and tribulations we've had 
here with getting the... Uh, well, Joe, now this is where... I'd like to introduce you to Joe. He's going to talk a little bit about the trolley. Yeah. Well, it's been an experience. Wait, did he bail out of that or what? Yeah, I know, I know. Um, we finally determined that the uh, wheels were not spaced equally. So I spent quite a bit of time doing measuring and making shims and stuff so that uh, all the wheels are the same distance apart now. And that apparently has fixed all of our problems. So I think we're in business cool. now. Cool. So to bring everybody up to speed, we got this this trolley from Rick Perry back what, about a year ago? August of last year. August of last year. And so we, Joe did a lot of work on the engine, the hydraulics, it's a brand new hydraulic uh, reservoir, new, new filters, hoses, and it, it was never designed to go in reverse, and Joe added that. Uh, what else? Never designed to go up hills either, and we figured out it can do that. So yeah. that's a really good thing. So, yeah. So, so today we brought it up all the way to the end of track at the moment, which is halfway up our hill in the back of the property. And the first test, we did it with no weights. The second test, we had weights on it. And uh, with the weights, it tracked a lot better. Obviously, it's, got, it's being pushed down a lot more. The one thing you can notice is that the... Um, the flex in the frame, there's a lot of more flex, and all the flex is showing now. Of course, most of that will be gone when you get a roof on it, mm -hmm. once it's all stiffened up. And I don't know how that will affect what the trucks are doing, but everything seemed to be fine. Yeah, it's a very, speaking of the trucks, it's a, they're very weird design. There's no axles. No. Uh, and that's been part of our challenge. And and the, the flat part of the wheels is very narrow. Yeah. They're not like what we're used to with the wheels that are more mining design yeah. with lots of lots of room for error yeah. but so this is a really exciting day it's a big day actually. it's a big big day because uh we rick put a lot of faith in us to get the trolley running we put a lot of work into it, a lot of t uh, joe's time uh kiwi worked on work for the seats uh and uh john john and jim worked on the the wood for the the steps and we got steps fixed or the brackets repaired. Uh, you put a mesh there. We took off the old rotten wood floor, and we got a steel mesh on the bottom, the steel plating going for the floor. And so now we can continue, continue the jury of. Yeah, I think of, it's safe that we can probably proceed now. Get the floor on and yep. get some seats on. Then run another test before we try to put a roof on. Yep. So very cool. Very incremental cool. Incremental progress. Very cool. Thanks. Yeah.